What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Ryan Collects. My name is Ryan and we're doing a little bit of a different video today. Happy New Year. I hope uh, last year was great and I hope this year is even better. We're going to see the little guy running around in the background again. I apologize if he's distracting. He's going to be going a little crazy. He's nuts. I just got home from work. But uh, this is going to be the top 10 cards from my collection up until this point. And uh, most of these we got on camera. A lot of these we got off camera, and a couple of these we got before I even did YouTube. Uh, so I've got some of these, two of these, the first two, um, over three years ago. When I first started kind of collecting, but not really, just like buying a card. and be like, oh, I have an old one. And uh, letting it sit in a desk drawer for about three years up until now. So uh, let's get right into it. Number one, and these are in... A little bit of a particular order, but not quite. They, uh, I, I guess they're in order. Not by value, but uh, just by which one I'm attached to the most. Now, uh, the first card here is one that I have never shown on because I got it about three years ago at my very first card convention where I was trading, buying, just uh, having a good time. But, uh, oh, and uh, y'all like the new background, the Charizard and uh, just the two Pokeballs now and the three building battle boxes from the last three sets we've been able to open. Uh, but yeah, I like this a lot more than the three Pokeballs. But uh, yeah, and he's already going a little nuts chewing on his toy. But here's the first card. Let's get right into it. Happy New Year, guys. Here's the first card of our first top ten video. Okay, the first card from the Fossil Unlimited set. It's the first vintage card I've ever owned. It is a Lapras Hollow from Fossil Unlimited. Pretty much, I would say, near mint. Maybe on the closer to lightly played side. But, uh, I mean, you got a little bit of whitening here. Very light whitening up at the very top. Very light. Other than that, the corner here's got a little nick. Tiny. Very tiny. But, uh, and then you don't have much scratching on the holographic board. Maybe a couple print lines, maybe a little bit of scratches here on the bottom. But uh, for the most part, I would say that this is near mint. And uh, if I can remember correctly, this is maybe a near mint worth raw, I'd say around 12 bucks. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm going to keep saying the value, of course. But, uh, yeah, that is the first card. Let me know what y'all's favorite card in y'all's collection is. I'd love to know. Maybe not the most valuable, as he's going insane. Hey! Hey, buddy! Stop! This is Debo, by the way, guys. I know I probably haven't formally introduced y'all. Seven months old now. But, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all's favorite card in y'all's collection is. So, uh, next up here, we're going to be getting right into the very first ultra-rare card I ever pulled. It was off-camera about three years ago from, uh, I think forget which set this is from but uh it is the russia ram and charizard gx tag team and uh, i pulled this and immediately sleeved it way back when but when i pulled it, it was worth about 40 now it's sitting at about eight to nine dollars i think maybe ten but uh, it's got a little bit of a nick here on the corner as i think he just fell off the bed he definitely did that's nice he fell off the bed guys but he's all right but uh, it's got a little bit of a nick here. I'm so sorry about that. I'm not editing that out. That was hilarious. But a uh, little nick here. A little bit of whitening on this. Not not crazy. I've kept it in pretty good condition for just getting back into seriously collecting. Keeping this in a terrible like Walmart sleeve for the past three years. But uh, I think this is a beautiful card. Look at that holographic. Look at that. That's crazy. Hello, Debo. But, um, sorry, he's probably going to be in a lot more of the videos. I know he wasn't in any of the other ones up until this point, but, uh, he's definitely going to be making a lot more appearances this year. But, uh, the next card, number three, is one we pulled a couple weeks ago. As we see, we have a lot of these in Katana sleeves. Keep me on y'all's roster, Katana. But, um, the next one here is going to be this energy. And this is the funniest card I have in my collection. Because look at the printing. Look at the centering and the printing. Now, if you're not too fond of Pokemon cards and you're just stumbling across this video, it's supposed to have an even amount of borders, as even as possible on the yellow borders on the back. Oh, you can't see, but blue, dark blue borders. But on this card, this is near mint. Don't worry, guys. This is a near mint card. 
There's no yellow on the top of this, and there's a huge, maybe a quarter of an inch of yellow on the bottom. <clears throat> Even left to right, it is terrible. And I just think this is hilarious, and that's why I wanted to keep this card as a favorite. Look at the look at the top. Look at how uneven, even like diagonal in a way. And it's got a little bit of whitening there, guys. Maybe it's not near mint. That's definitely gonna bring its its two cent price down. But um, yeah, this is a, a favorite of mine. I sleeved it immediately as soon as we pulled it. I was just astonished. Um, crazy. It's, it's it stays in a binder, by the way. It doesn't just sit out. I want to keep this because it's, it's really just a favorite of mine. But uh, running into number four, this was from the very first Japanese booster box I ever opened by myself, not on camera, a little bit right before the YouTube channel went up. He's just going crazy back there, isn't he? Oh my gosh. But uh, it is a Blastoise and Piplup GX Tag Team. And uh, this card, I don't know, it just looks crazy good. I can't read Japanese. I do not speak Japanese. But, uh, I know this is in the English, uh, totally drawn a blank here, Cosmic Eclipse. I know it's in Cosmic Eclipse, I just haven't pulled it, because we haven't opened much. But we do have a Cosmic Eclipse card coming up in a couple, uh, couple spots here on the list. But, uh, oh my gosh, this card, look at the, it's like, it reminds me of just like the Northern Lights. Even on, the the Russia Ram and Charizard one, just like the Northern Lights type of hollow on there. Just insane all the way through. Gotta love this art. Gotta love the card. A favorite of mine. I actually pulled two of these in the same box, so I got really lucky. I think it's priced at around nine dollars in Japanese, maybe, maybe, maybe a little less, because you know Japanese not as in demand if there's an English counterpart. But uh, yeah, still a really good card. Next up here is a card that holds a very super special spot in my heart. It is. Sorry about that. It is. The Charizard from Celebrations that we managed to pull on the very last pack of a video. If you haven't watched that, uh, please go check it out. It's on my channel. It's never getting deleted. I mean, we pulled it very last of opening two ETBs. Uh, back when we pulled it, I think it was sitting at around 120, maybe 130 at a value. Now it's, it's sunk a little bit. Celebrations is definitely sinking. I might make a video explaining that, all that. I mean, traders, buyers... Stay away from celebrations for right now. If you want, play stocks. You know, buy where it's low right now because I don't think this Charizard is going to go down any more than it has. Maybe a small percentage, but right now it is sitting at about seventy dollars in a near mint. But uh, this is definitely near mint. Definitely centered off left to right, very badly. As I've heard, this is common with a celebration Charizard. Let me know if y'all have one. Uh, which you know, it's just not for everybody. No, but uh, let me know if yours is off centered pretty poorly because i mean this isn't crazy bad but it's noticeable so i mean if you were to get this graded you would definitely want it to be centered a lot better but mine is definitely near mint condition no whitening on the edges it's just that centering i mean this was pulled and immediately sleeved and then following the video immediately put into this hard sleeve now running up to number five it's another one that we pulled on the channel it was rough, roughly valued at about 150 when we pulled it. We pulled it on the day the set came out, out of one ETB. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Mew Alternate Art Secret Rare. Oh my gosh, can I stress enough how awesome this card looks? Look at it. It's got a car. It's got uh, a little phone booth there. It's just got a whole city going around. It's in its uh, Dynamax form, obviously. But uh, just probably one of the it's one of the most valuable cards in my collection but the fact that not a lot of people pulled this because of or I still haven't pulled it because of how hard the pull rates are for fusion strike but we managed to get it on the first day and even my friend we were in a parking lot just outside of a target we bought five booster packs each he managed to pull this out of fusion strike he only bought two fusion strike packs guys it's doable keep trying don't go broke though like me do not go broke but um now it's sitting at around $90, I'd say. $90 in a near mint. Obviously, ours is, in fact, in a near mint. And I think the centering on this is almost perfect, if you look at it. I think it's almost perfect. But, uh, I mean, it, it looks fantastic. Fantastic card. Pokemon did an amazing job this year on the arts, especially on this one. Not being biased, but, I mean, crazy good job. Crazy, crazy good job. Now we are running up on, I believe, the seventh card 
This is one I just got the other day. Not on camera. I went and I traded some Funko Pops. Don't worry, guys. This is the only Pokemon Funko Pop I have. If I had any more, they'd be right in the background. Definitely thinking about picking some up. Let me know if you want the background to change up a little bit every video. Definitely keeping the Charizard, though. That's crazy find. I'm trying to get that Jumbo one. But uh, the next card is roughly around, let's say, the $50 range in a near mint, which it is in a near mint, and that would be the Primal Kyogre. Guys, this is a card I've wanted for a long time. Y'all know I've been wanting to open up Primal Clash on the channel, but it's just so expensive as individual packs just to pull stuff that's not really worth the whole value you would get for buying something sealed. I mean, you would spend like 120 and pull a card only worth 50 So I'd rather just trade or buy a card. I mean, I traded in value and got this for around 18 bucks. But, uh, I mean, just look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take it out. <laughs> Sorry about that. I forgot I had this in there because I got home, immediately sleeved it up. Went crazy. But uh, centering, left to right, just a tad. Surface, everything's perfect. No whitening. No whitening on it at all. It's a perfect condition card. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just something I've wanted for a while. I mean, Primal Clash from 2015, guys. Hard find. Hard to find sealed for a good price at least. I mean, I think it's like 13 a pack. So it's kind of crazy to get to get oh my god voice crack to get sealed so uh yeah and uh i like i like these top loaders more i bought it from them with that but uh, let's go ahead and head into number eight which is one card we've pulled twice now on the channel that is the pikachu full art v this is a pretty good card we did i did trade off the original one uh at a convention where i got the 10th card on this list but you'll see what that is. I think you probably already know what it is. It probably is in the thumbnail, honestly. But um, we've pulled this twice. It can't seem, can't seem to get away from us. Vivid Voltage has treated us right this year. Let's hope when we open it more in the future, we get this card again. Uh, we pulled the Rainbow Pikachu. If you haven't seen that video, please go check that out. It's also on my Twitter, which is also in the description. But uh, look at this card. Check that out, man. The full art goes crazy. Now, number nine on the list is going to be a card we just pulled a week ago out of our little Christmas opening, and that is the Secret Rare Pikachu card with red looking at it. I assume it's just at the starting point of Pokemon Yellow, but uh, this is a card that, as I titled in the video, I didn't know existed in English, and it's perfect centering maybe just, no, I think it maybe left or right just a tad, but uh, it's in perfect condition, no whitening or anything. I think this is Maybe a PSA 9, maybe 8 if they're feeling, you know, a little little rude or anything like that. But I think it's a PSA 9. It's a pretty good condition card, perfect condition if I will. Just the centering off left to right actually pretty badly now that I'm looking at it. A little bit like that Celebration Zard. But um, definitely a cool card. Didn't know it existed in English. Thought it was just a, maybe like a Dream League card. I think it's in Dream League in Japanese. That's what I thought it was. Uh, but apparently it's not, and we pulled it, and it's valued at around $40. Oh, and by the way, the uh, Pikachu V Full Art is valued at around $30 right now in Near Mint. This is definitely $40 in Near Mint. I just checked a couple days ago. Yeah, $40, $40, $45 maybe, depending if the centering is good. Mine, I'd probably get it for about a $40 because of that centering. Number 10 is a card that started our series, Card Expedition. It's valued right now in a near mint, and I think ours is lightly played near mint. So a little bit more on the near mint side. It is valued at around $400 at least at a near mint. Ladies and gentlemen, base set unlimited Charizard. This is my favorite card in my collection. By far, nothing will ever top the moment I got this. The moment I traded for it and walked out of that building holding this. The moment I met Mr. Gary, King Pokemon. The man with two out of three of the Beckett 10 Zards. And I got this the same day. This isn't first edition, obviously, but I mean, it's just as good. And it's just a great feeling knowing that I have a piece of history. 1999, base set unlimited. I mean, the condition on this, I would say, is near mint. All bias aside, I mean, the, the whitening here, that's on the sleeve on the inside right here, that little nick. But that's just on the little sleeve because I couldn't seem to get the sleeves perfectly clean and I didn't want to scratch the card up but uh, I, I mean underneath this you can see on the edge there's really nothing on the edges 
really maybe something super small right there but I mean you can barely see that other than that on the front it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good and the surface I mean I don't see any scratches y'all let me know if there is it's definitely on this uh, top loader but uh, I mean that's I I'm not taking it out I never take this card out the top loader it is my absolute favorite card it is highly respected by my friends and uh, it's just like the holy grail uh, obviously the first edition's holy grail but I mean the poor man's holy grail it's a crazy good looking card uh, and I sit there and stare at it like all the time as weird as that is but I mean look at it right next to the Zard let's go ahead and throw that uh, let's go ahead and throw all the Charizard cards right next to it just to flex a little bit but uh, yeah I think that's gonna be the video guys if you enjoyed this top 10, let me know if you want to see the top 10 most valuable in my collection. But, uh, some of these would be on there, just like maybe two of them. But um, I think that would be an interesting video. Yeah, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. Obviously, this is Ryan Collects, where we do literally anything Pokemon TCG related. And uh, yeah, I think I will see you all very, very soon. Happy New Year. Goodbye.